All right, now for the latest on Tropical Cyclone Alfred, let's check in with Sky News meteorologist Marina Newman. Marina, thanks for being with us. Now, what is the latest on this tropical cyclone? Well, Julia, the latest with this system is it still remains a Category 2 storm and is expected to make landfall as a Category 2 storm. So it won't be intensifying, but the impacts could intensify from the storm because it has slowed significantly, nearly stalled right now, less than 300 kilometers off the coast of Brisbane. Now, right now we have a tropical cyclone warning in place all the way from the Sunshine Coast down to Grafton. That's what the area in red is showing us. And with that, that usually means that we are expecting gale force winds within the next 24 hours. However, wind speed is already picking up as the system gets just continues to linger and batter the coastline of Queensland. Now, the updated timeline with the system, as it slows and nearly stalls, now expected to make landfall somewhere between Brisbane and the Gold Coast by Saturday morning. So it has really slowed down significantly, and that is allowing for that storm to then going to continue to just linger over the coastline until Saturday morning. That's when we're seeing the storm eventually and finally expected to make landfall. So what impacts are we currently seeing as this storm approaches landfall? Well, right now we are currently dealing with very strong wind gusts. Again, gale force winds expected within 24 hours, but already really picking up. Destructive wind gusts right now recorded at 80 kilometers per hour at Gold Coast, Lismore 65 kilometers per hour, even Newcastle, so much further south, 52 kilometers per hour. And this is just going to continue to pick up strength over the next 24 hours as the system just lingers off the coast. Now we're also right now seeing just a few isolated downpours, but that will also begin to pick up as the storm continues to approach the coastline, looking at the potential for really high rainfall totals, which could lead to flooding as the system just continues to stall over the Queensland and New South Wales coastline. So where can we expect to see the greatest impact once the storm actually makes landfall? Well, the greatest impact right now is expected where that severe weather warning is in place for the areas in yellow from the Sunshine Coast all the way down to Coffs Harbor. That's where we're really going to be seeing and feeling the impact from the storm making landfall. And one of the greatest threats continues to be very strong storm surge as well as very high waves. Right now, we do have a coastal hazard warning in place. Highest recorded wave today at Tweed at the Tweed offshore buoy, 7.72 meters. So very tall waves, and this is leading to the threat of coastal erosion, both for Queensland and New South Wales, the areas in yellow under that threat. So we are monitoring that closely. You do not wanna be out on the water. You do not wanna be surfing, boating over the next 24 hours, because just check out these waves. Very intense, very strong. We're also gonna be dealing with very high tides, abnormally high tides. And that's just going to continue to intensify over the next 24 to 48 hours, Julia. Yeah, be careful out there, Marina. It looks very rough indeed. Thank you for the update.